Hi and welcome to another Instrument Choice Support video. In this video, we demonstrate how to use and how to export data from the WR3 Plus Wireless Anemometer Kit. To start, install the antenna. This simply twists into place. Then install three AA batteries into the receiver. Use a screwdriver to remove the compartment door. Install the batteries observing polarity. Then replace the door and tighten the screw. Press the red power button to switch on the unit. Each sensor has a unique wireless address number, which has been prepared to the receiver display. So the receiver almost instantly and automatically connects to the wireless sensor as soon as it is switched on. Moving the wind cups shows the instantaneous readout on the receiver. The main screen on the receiver details the signal strength, battery status, thermometer, temperature and temperature unit, the date, the set wind speed alarm trigger threshold, the current wind speed and the wind speed unit, the time and the Beaufort scale. You can move through three additional pages from the main screen by using the left and right arrows. Pressing the right arrow once displays the average and maximum screen. This screen displays the maximum wind speed, average wind speed in the past 12 hours, and the wind chill and atmospheric pressure. Pressing the right arrow again moves onto the chart page. This page displays a chart of the wind speed value with both maximum and average values simultaneously. Pressing the right arrow a third time displays the history page. Here you can view the past 12 hours of average and maximum wind data along with the temperature for this corresponding period. To return to the main screen, press the left arrow three times. Press the settings key to enter into the settings menu. There are three options in the main menu, each with submenus. The first selection is wind speed. Within the wind speed setting page, you can adjust the wind speed unit. Press enter and the unit will begin to flash. Use the up selection key to cycle through the options of meters per second, kilometers per hour, miles per hour, and knots. When your required value is displayed, press enter again to confirm. Press the down key once to navigate to the next option. This is alarm. Press enter to select. Use the up and down keys to turn the wind alarm on or off. When your required value is displayed, press enter again to confirm. Press the down key once to navigate to the next option. This is alarm threshold. Press enter to select, then use the up and down arrows to adjust. This can be adjusted from 1 to 180 in your selected wind speed unit. Press enter again to confirm. The next option in the main setting menu is data logging. Press enter to navigate into the data logging submenu. This menu displays three adjustment options along with the available device memory at the bottom of the menu. Press enter to select the first option, which is logging. Use the arrow keys to switch logging on or off. Then press enter to confirm your selection. Next is logging interval. Press enter to select. Use the arrow keys to adjust the logging interval between 2, 5, 10 seconds, 1 minute, 5 minutes, 10 minutes or 60 minutes. Press enter again to confirm. The last option in the data logging submenu is clear data. Press enter to clear all recorded data. Clearing data will make the available memory at the bottom of the menu return to 100%. Returning to the main menu, the last option is general. Press enter to navigate into the general settings submenu. The first adjustment option here is date. Press enter to adjust, then press up and down to adjust each unit and enter to select and change the selection unit. Repeat this to adjust the day, month and the year. Next is time, press enter to select. Press up and down to adjust each unit and enter to select and move on to the next value. Adjust the hour and minute. The next option is sensor address. Press enter when sensor address is highlighted. Press the up and down buttons to change the number in coordination with the AD number on the sensor label, if required. Next is temperature unit. Press enter to adjust. Use the arrow keys to change between Celsius and Fahrenheit. Press enter again to confirm. 
Next is atmospheric pressure unit. Press enter to confirm and use the arrow keys to select a unit between hectopascals, millimeters of mercury or bar. Press enter to confirm. Press the down key to view the last selection in the main settings menu. This is display auto off. Press enter to adjust, then use the arrow keys to choose between off. This is default, meaning the receiver remains on five minutes, 10 minutes or 30 minutes. When your required time is on the screen, press enter again to confirm. Press settings or clear to return to the main measurement screen. Before downloading data from your WR3, you'll first need to have some stored data. To set up data logging, simply go to settings, data logging, select logging and change to on. The device will say start logging, yes, no, select yes. The device will then begin collecting data at your selected intervals. After collecting the required data, you'll need to stop data logging. Go to settings, data logging, select logging, and this time change to off. You must stop logging before you can download data. Then download the WR3 Plus data export software. The address for this download is linked in the description. Select download, open the zipped file, Open WR3 PR V5. Connect the receiver to the PC via a micro USB cable. A new USB drive will appear on your device's list indicating that the receiver is connected to your computer. Then select the COM port of your receiver. Then press the download button. Select or create a file for your logged information. Select the required export file type between XLSX or XLS. The software will then start exporting the logged files. Wait for finish to pop up, indicating the data export is now complete. Once finished, go to the file that you saved your information to and open the newly created Excel file. You will see your WR3's setup information, including the logging start time, logging interval, measurement units, the sensor address and sensor serial number, and below this will be a list of your logged information, including the date, time, and recorded wind speed, temperature, and pressure. And that's how to set up, use, and export data from the WR3 Plus wireless anemometer kit. For more information on this anemometer, speak with an instrument choice scientist. Call 1300 737 871 or email customer-service at instrumentchoice.com.au. We hope that you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.